Yeah. Damn. So what do you, but you've also had the opposite effect, right? Where you get on set. Well, so how does that work? If you got a small dong in the industry? Yeah. Or they figure it out. No, I had something. Or you're just like the sound guy. But I had something small. So like, and I hated it if I'm being honest. How small are we talking? Okay. Please say, please say small under six. six. Oh, no. All right. So. No. <laughs> okay. But, wow. This but, guy is watching this at home. I hated just it crying. so much. Okay. So you hated it. Japan. You didn't even feel it. No, I he Whoa, hated it was it. where? Ironically, though, like one guy that was like this, like I felt that because it was so hard. Yeah, like, okay. yeah. But All right, good. this thing, like it was when I was working in Japan, so I didn't really choose. And this was like at the beginning of my career before I, yeah. like, I cho chose a lot of people who I worked with and I was picky. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just showed up and it was like that. And I just remember like doing this and just being yeah. so sad because like my husband at home, like I could do this Yeah, with. the full motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm like, oh, oh no. that's horrible. Wow. <laughs> but that dude is probably stoked. No, no. I was like, unfortunately <laughs> laughing at him. Oh, I couldn't my. stop laughing. So and like I was like point? looking around the crew and I'm like, it's so tiny. <laughs> like, As you're you know spoke what? English and they're like, oh, he, she loves it. He, he must know it was tiny. That's my defense. He has to know. Yeah. Dude, I had a laughing moment. And I haven't tell you, I had a laughing moment. I I was in like, I think I was maybe a freshman and me and this girl were doing a project at my, in my room. Things a got project. weird. We, yeah, like a science project a or whatever. project? No, well, it turned into that, but it was gotcha. very embarrassing. So we we were having a project, whatever. We started like making out on my bed and I was so like sexually attracted. It was, you know, it's one of those relationships, especially in like a high school, you see her every day. You're like, I want to, I want to, I want to. So it was yeah. a big buildup. And then she literally, she took my dick out, jacked me off. And I'm telling you guys, 30 seconds, maybe. Jack, 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 30 seconds came, and what's ringing, what made me uh, remind myself of this is she started laughing. Ah. 30 second Andy. Buddy. 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember she just, I came and I was like, good. Ah, she's like, <laughs> like, she was so, she was like embarrassed for me. Your yeah. cum just like crawls back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. That's not I'm great. Sorry. Did you nope. ever get to fuck her? After that? No, I was so embarrassed. Yeah. I, I I actually liked her a lot because I don't... Well, you know what's funny? I was about to say, I don't think she told anyone. What the fuck am I talking about? She told everybody. Yeah. But like... <laughs> But, uh, but no, but answer your question. No, I didn't. I didn't. I yeah. didn't. I should have fucking, I'm going to dox her right Tried now. Try to redeem name. yourself. Yeah. But it, no, no, no. It happens. Yeah. So what, what happens on set when the dude nuts too quick? We have to take a break. Yeah. And that's yeah, a long like, break yeah, too. Production You're like stops. lunch just got really pushed yeah, up today. Exactly. Production stops. We have to take a break or like they'll try to find somebody else for like. Get a PA in there. Or somebody who's tested for like a stunt dick. Hold on, like, hold on. Not what stunt, it? but like yeah, yeah no. like a stunt dick. Like so, so if, oh. especially if it's a POV, someone else to just come in. They just need the pop shot, so somebody so else. You're telling me that wasn't Johnny Sins this whole time? <laughs> it was just the Postmates driver. It was actually the delivery driver. <laughs> no, Johnny Sins is good. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so so if the dude, but what if the dude pops like early, early? Cause then you still you still have to fill some they time with fucking. To, they might have to like cancel the scene. Typically, they let they like stop production and take a long break. Like the guy could go take a nap or something. Why does he do? Why does he do just put and on like? And he'll never be hired again. Never. That's no. true. So why does he yeah. just like put like numbing cream? Is that is that a big thing on the if, on the if, scenes? If he used numbing cream, like he wouldn't be able to stay hard because he wouldn't be feeling much. You know, you have to be turned on. Dude, that I I, I I in college I was a big numbing cream guy and I stayed hard. Duh. Well, I don't know about that story you just told us. Yeah. Oh no, I was in high school, but. I, I had a big come up. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so what what was the first scene you did where you like played a character or like uh, there was a theme to it? I don't remember. I get oh, actually, I guess it was like a party theme. It was okay. for mofos and like. I was an early uh, on porn side too, mofos. Yeah, that was probably the first. Where's part. your favorite site, or where do you find most of your stuff? Or like, where do you like? Oh, this is my go-to. Pornhub or X videos, and I watch a lot of hentai or POV. Hentai was the biggest. Ooh. Oh, so we need to talk about this. You were yeah. what number were you in the charts? I we, think I'm five. Yeah, I think it's five. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. I've been there yeah, for I mean, a while. big. Yeah, I mean that's. But that's what I was saying earlier. I was like, when did you know you were good at this? When were you like, oh, mama's doing numbers? Probably like a, probably like a year and a half, two years in. I, I mean, I was very, if I'm being honest, like I was very sought after. But then everyone would tell me, oh, like porn girls come and go. It's not going to last forever. Yeah, they get shot yeah. out. And I just never got shot out. That's like motivation, so that's how, though. Yeah, if that's I heard how that, I I'd be like, I'll, fucking, I'll fuck your grandma. Yeah, I just stayed busy the entire time. Everyone wanted to just shoot me again and again. That's 
Oh, good for you. Fifth is like, that's crazy. Cause like we, we think about this a lot in podcasts. Like our podcast is starting to get some like really solid numbers. And we're like, damn, there's thousands and thousands of podcasts out there to be in the charts is huge. Yeah. But like I, for you, like, do you have somebody you're like, I wish I was better than that. Or you just kind of stay in your own lane. Or are you like, how do you get bigger in the porn scene? Just more scenes? I don't know. Wild as shit. Honestly, I TikToks? feel like a lot of, yeah, I feel like a lot of it's like social media now. You have yeah, to kind of yeah. like stay relevant outside of just straight porn. I mean, That's you just have my more opinion. followers than most continents. Was it 10 mil on Instagram? Yeah. 10 mil. That's 10.4. Dude, that's the G. That's the G. <laughs> <of Venezuela, laughs> dude. Just to rub yeah. it in. Thank you. I mean, yeah, you don't need a porn <laughs> website. You upload one store doing jumping jacks, and that does numbers. Mm -hmm. If you have that story, send it my way. That sounds <laughs> awesome. Trampolines, dude? So, but also, was hentai number one in... I think so. With number mo yeah, most viewed and cosplay and stuff like would, that. Would you ever do voiceover for hentai or have you ever done uh, it? I would love to. Something I would love to do is have my own hentai. Yeah. And then do the voiceover for it. I think like a series would be so I think hot. we can make that happen. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I just don't a... know how to make it happen. Oh, I don't know you got 10.4 million people. Enough people well, yeah. will make it happen. Just write on your story, this is what I'd like, and I'm sure people would be just... You, Standing, you're right, you're yeah. right. I should do that. Yeah, you could easily do that. I, I just want to ask this. When, when was the moment that you were like, oh, porn is what I'm... Good, like, because I we already talked it, about this, Michael, but you were too busy coming back from the airport. Oh, funny. sorry, man. Well, let me fill you in. Yeah, she please. had a friend coming up, and the friend was I don't know what I'm saying. The friend introduced you to it and was like, This is something that I'm doing, this is something that you could also dabble in. So, before that, you knew like you were very confident with like your abilities. Um, I wouldn't say I was confident, I was just like, I knew I was very sexual, and I really was just trying to have fun. Yeah, yeah. So th there was no dude that was like, this is this is phenomenal. No, like at the beginning, I was more shy and amateur. Yeah. And if I'm being honest, like so much of it is the guys and who you're working with. So I was right. working with a lot of top talent right away and they lead the scene. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, Have you ever done uh, Bang Bus? No. What? Sorry. We've been on the bang bus before you have? <laughs> Why? We, yeah. we did, uh, me and Michael made love there. No, we... Uh, they reached out to me and be like, do you want to shoot a sketch in here when you're in Miami? Because I was doing shows out there. Yeah. And then we filmed the sketch. Have you ever worked with Peter Green? No. Ooh, wait, this sounds familiar. But Peter I Green, know. he's he's got a fucking cock and a half. I don't think I've But he's like the bang bus guy. He's done like a thousand scenes on there. Like it's, it's like insane. Okay. I typed in Peter Green. I guess there's a singer at Peter Green as well. No, I've this never dude? had sex no? with that guy. But he's, he's he's like the bang bus dude. So we filmed a podcast and then we interviewed him and then we also did a sketch in the bus. And I, you know, there's like maybe like five iconic porn places and the bang bus is definitely one of them. Um, have you ever done a casting couch one? Yeah, casting yes. couch is huge. Yes. I've done a casting couch. So that one, you have, it's all... Is it is the casting couch scripted? Of course. Right, but there's Of course, some... I was paid. I filled out paperwork. But sometimes you watch it and you go, I want to believe this. You, well, that's the fantasy. But I'm going to be honest, dude. Some of those girls, and maybe you were included, I haven't watched your casting couch, but some of those reactions when the guy goes, okay, so now suck my dick. And the girl goes, well, I... Okay, like that moment. You want to believe it. You yeah. want to believe there's well, interns well, sitting we are outside at all. Some are Thank so believable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's what it is. And it, yeah, I just, I want to believe that that's a real office and not a set stage somewhere in a warehouse. I want to believe that that's a WeWork somewhere in Houston. It is a set stage in a warehouse. It's in a warehouse? I think so. Damn. God. I'm sorry. I wanted to be at a Marriott fucking so bad. No. But yeah. it is wild. Kind every, of grimy. Every guy knows that you can show a guy that couch in that window and you know exactly where you are. Yeah. But, it, but there's multiple of it and it just hurts. You know, you never meet your heroes in real life. You find out everything, God dude. Damn it.